Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. There are shark news stories kicking off all over the place at the moment and I am really, really struggling to keep up with them. <laughs> Before today's episode though, make sure you click this link here and check out this crazy news story where researchers in New Zealand have discovered more glow-in-the-dark sharks. It's really, really weird. You should definitely check it out. Back to today, however, and this news story has really been causing a stir on my social media channels and it does look like it's a little bit concerning. So let's check it out. The news story coming out of the Maldives is that government officials there are re-entering discussions to potentially re-legalize commercial shark fishing in and around the islands. According to local news reports, the Maldives Minister of Fisheries has said that lifting the ban presents a profitable revenue generating strategy for the state. Shark fishing was actually completely banned in the Maldives 11 years ago back in 2010 due to reports of rapidly declining shark populations in the area. Banning shark fishing in certain parts of the world isn't uncommon, with one of the most famous shark sanctuaries being in the Bahamas, which boasts a very healthy shark population. The Maldives, which is a stunning archipelago situated in the middle of the Indian Ocean, is known to be a notorious destination for shark tourism and has been for many years. In fact, several studies have shown the importance of shark tourism for the Maldivian economy. In 2009, it was estimated that a single grey reef shark was worth $3,300 to the Maldivian tourism industry compared to just $32 if it was caught and sold. Another more recent study in 2019 found that business revenue from shark divers in the Maldives was estimated to be a whopping $14.4 million. So it's pretty clear here that sharks in the Maldives are worth more alive than they are dead. But why are the Maldives government considering this? Well, one of the more contentious issues around this topic is that often money generated from tourism activities struggles to reach everyday citizens who actually need it. This can often mean that the capture and selling of a shark in the short term may appear more profitable at an individual level compared to leaving the sharks alive and this benefiting the economy in the long term. Now, there has been a lot of pushback on this from both local and international stakeholders, with over 106 of them signing a joint statement urging the Maldivian government to not lift this shark ban. So this is a pretty interesting news story, and here at Shark Bites, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on how this develops over the coming weeks and months. There are a bunch of petitions doing the rounds online for this, so if you feel inclined to sign one of them, I'll make sure to post that in the description below. If you do start to hear some more on this news story, make sure to send it my way. You can find me on Twitter at KJ Parton, or you can post the link to it in any of the videos here on Shark Bites. So what do you think of this news story? Should the Maldives government be lifting this shark ban? Have you ever been to the Maldives and died with sharks? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.